She's got a new stand-up special on Netflix. It's her fourth stand-up special, and mm-hmm. um, it you know a best-selling author, and uh, maybe the uh, creation of two broke girls helped pay for the robot to her, right? <laughs> She is none other than Whitney Cummings. Good to see you, Yeah, do Whitney. you think success has changed me at all? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is you're you're sitting in the, the A position guest seat, and to your right is a remarkable lookalike. It's like a Penn and Teller situation. <laughs> actually, we have Penn coming on on Friday, actually. Yes, we have Penn I, I mean, on does Friday. he need a new teller? Because she's available. <laughs> she, well, I mean, she's it's, a really, chattier. it's really up to you, because I think that she's going everywhere you're going right she now. She is. And by the way, I take offense at the fact that one of your cameramen called her a dummy. How dare you? Is that true? Did just somebody went, actually... Goes, go sit next to the dummy. What? The dummy. <laughs> Fully functioning robot that thinks and talks and that you can have sex with. Nobody has yet. <laughs> But to the highest bidder, you may take her virginity. Chris just looked a little too excited. Yeah, or he's looking underneath the desk yeah, for some for reason right now. I, I was going to see how much money I had in my wallet. <laughs> Look out. $8 Trust final me, offer. I, I would We're like good. to give Sarah the night off, actually. So how do we have a... a how do I, <laughs> Sorry. And I, here I was attempting to ask a legitimate question. Wow. Uh, how, uh, where did the Cubs jersey come from that's on your robot lookalike? Okay, so I'm from Washington, D.C. Yes, you are. The Orioles are our team. <laughs> <laughs> the Nats and the Orioles are definitely, yes. Something. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I right. don't understand. The PR on the D.C. baseball, not so good. Yeah. So my uh, fiancé is in a Cubs fan, so I got okay. a Cubs jersey with my name on the back. Okay. And we're on a sports show, the sports show, so I said, put that bitch in a Cubs jersey. <laughs> and here she is. <laughs> Even though you probably hate the Cubs. You're a Yankees fan. I am a Yankees fan, but I respect the Cubs. I respect, okay. I respect how long your fiancé had to wait. <laughs> yeah, good point. Not just you. It's a, if I meant the Cubs, by the can way. Can I tell you if when you're looking for a possible mate, patience is key. Yes. So that's why I like I want to marry a Cubs fan. Right. Exactly. The because wait. the wait over a hundred years. He's a patient man, and being married to me, you have to be very patient. So now, um, is she? Her, her name is Whitney as well, or her name is Bearclaw. <laughs> Uh, if you watch the special, you'll know why. She talks. You can ask her questions. She okay. can fully talk. Okay. What do you got right here? How are the Jets? How are the Jets? Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? So do I answer Do I answer this I to you? This <laughs> <laughs> you hear that you, you, if you hold that up closer to your microphone, what was, oh. that, what was that last part right there? Not the- even Levine Bell can help the rich. <laughs> No, we tried to program in Levine Bell. I don't think it <laughs> sounded right. Is that how it's Wait, pronounced? Wait, say that again. Is it Le'Veon Bell? Hold on, what was it? Not even Levine Bell can help them, Rich. That's <laughs> close, close enough. Levine Bell, Levine Bell, I think, might be the CFO of the New York Jets. I think robots are racist because they can't pronounce that name. Okay. <laughs> but you can fully talk to her. You can ask her questions. She has okay. all kinds of questions. Okay, what do we Chris, got? can we talk about the fact that your favorite movie is You've Got Mail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris, can we talk about the fact that your favorite movie is You've Got Mail? Can we do sure, that? Sure, it's a great movie. But wh- why your favorite it's movie? It's not my favorite See, movie. The fact is is that he, he, he loves the film because it reminds him of a very special time in his life or a time, would you say, that... Was where you you were you were, my mom you were surprised homesick. Me. Yeah, my mom surprised me my freshman year on a college, on a weekend, you were a and we homesick. went and saw the movie, and so I just kind of like it. I think and of her. So now the fact the, the fact though that I keep trying to make it sound like it's his favorite movie <laughs> oh, is, is now the joke. It's, yeah, it's, <laughs> okay, it's really, it's really caught she, on too. It's now the joke. She's got other questions. Okay, Listen, Rich, when are you to getting hair implants? <laughs> Did you really ask if I'm getting? When am I getting hair implants? Okay. She's let me very see. con. Did you really ask if I'm going when I get in here and plan? <laughs> That's her just mocking you. Sometimes she'll just repeat what you say and then make you feel stupid about the thing oh, you just said. So God. people keep asking what she can do. You can program in things for her to say, but you can also just ask her random questions, and I never know what she's going to say. Okay, what, which questions do you have for What do you want to ask? Um, she knows any. I bet she knows more about sports than any of you. Okay, why did Andrew Luck retire? Okay. Ask her that. Wait, hold on. Okay. Why did Andrew Luck retire? Yeah, yeah that's... Why. Okay, so I'm going to put her in chat mode. Okay, uh-oh, look out. I know, oh. it's not great. Okay. Why did Andrew Luck retire? I don't know why it happened, <laughs> but we should try to figure it out. By the way... do a search. 
By that the way, is deep. <laughs> she said that is deep. <laughs> that is deep. We should figure it out. By the way, that's automatically one of the most nuanced takes on the subject <laughs> in all of sports. <laughs> you have no, you, I mean, that was already right there. Most than half of the sports talk community. More nuanced take. I. This is how I'm learning claw. about sports because you guys know that I, I suck at sports. And every time I come on the show, I feel bad. But no, I can ask to. her anything and learn. Okay. Do you know Tom Brady? Okay. I'll try not to do that too much. Because <laughs> every time I ask her about Tom Brady, she talks too much about it. Okay. <laughs> Who is Tom Brady? Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. is an American football quarterback <laughs> for the New England Patriots of the National Football League. <laughs> I recommend oh, every woman that doesn't want to learn about so, sports get one of these, and she'll talk to your husband or oh, boyfriend about this so, stuff. Oh, Whitney Cummings here on the Rich Eisen oh, Show. Oh, Why? So, so I think I saw because I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, th this is really you. You got this done of yourself. Yeah. I mean, like I've how, aged. How, I've lapped her. I now look like 50 years older than her already <laughs> somehow. So we're gonna have to she, figure out a way she, to equal us out. She does have remarkable skin. She does. We um, got her made. Yeah. I basically thought it was gonna be a joke. Like, you know, right. you live with a comic. It was like, I was talking about sex robots for like half an hour in the special. I went yes. down to the sex robot factory. So I was like, let me just make sure I'm not endorsing something really creepy. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Sure. Went down. They're like, do you want us to get one made of you? And I just got engaged and I don't have time to talk to him. Um, <laughs> and I was like, well, does it talk? Like, can it talk to people? Yeah. They're like, I was like, I'm in, add to cart. I never thought it would look this good. I thought it was going to look like a like Chucky. Like I thought it was going to be <laughs> no. like a, a scarecrow, like crack whore. Like she can actually talk and do stuff. So I had her come out at the end of the special and do some comedy. Well, so how long did it take for you to actually sit for this thing? <sighs> I had to sit there with a thing plastered over my face for like, I think it was like three hours oh and I had to gosh. go a couple times and they had to do my teeth and my ears. Like I put it all at the end of the special. There's a little like teaser that explains how it was done. Right. Um, but her body's just like a dead corpse body. I mean, she can't really do much. Well, the jeans are very nice. They huh? said, oh, Have those, you felt her? Uh, you know what? These are words. <laughs> Come on. That are loaded. Time's not up for you. They're Come loaded. touch her. They're loaded. They're, that's a very loaded She's charged. She's the whole thing. It's a whole, you know. It's, it feels like that my fiance, I left my fiance alone with her for like two days. First of all, he hates her. He's like, this is creepy. I don't like it. One of you is more than enough. Like he, he can't stand it. Yes. But one time I left him at home, uh, her at home with him and I came back, I was touring and he was like, I don't like her. We need to move her up uh, into the closet. Like I, I don't want her out. And then he was like, but you know, her boobs like feel like boobs. I was like, what happened? <laughs> What happened while I was gone? <laughs> By the way, for the radio audience, the two shot of the two of you is absolutely freaky. I mean, it <laughs> Wait, is Wait, but she's a little unbelievable. Yeah, she's not sitting like you have your wow. legs crossed and everything like that, but <laughs> that is freaking me out right now. This is the future. It's happening. How could she's not Oh, but look, here's some other stuff that I can do. Okay. She's um not blinking and stuff. Normally she's looking around. I think I like screwed up with her. It's okay. Um, but she's um you know, she's fully functioning. She's has a full anatomy. Um, I'm willing to auction off her virginity. Uh, we're going to work on that at some point. <laughs> um, you can't afford it, Chris. Um, mm, but it's kind of cool. It's fair. like, I mean, specials now, you have to do something that's like memorable, you know? And I just wanted to of do course. something that was kind of shocking. Why and are you not afraid of robots? Every single time I'm on Twitter and I see robots jumping and running and mm -hmm. opening doors and walking dogs, I'm thinking we are all dead. Well, she's basically a corpse. She can't do any of those things. Hey. Okay. Oh, How are you, baby? She, but see, now she's not. <laughs> but see, way, look, I can get uh, her. Fiance you know. programmed. Oh, hold on. Something's wrong with her. Something's wrong with the Wi Fi, so she's not hooked up. It's so she's all right. like any woman. She's She's giving us now the silent treatment because we made fun of her. So that's that. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.